adopt an attitude of praise to God. Appreciate. Thank God for things that may seem insignificant to you. You may be able to walk, talk, see, touch, taste. You may have some teeth. You may have hair. You may be able to move around and squat. You may be able to do some things some people can't do. Thank God for those things. I think some people notice or look at what they don't have. Kevin, yes, I can walk, I can talk, I can move around, but I don't have a Mercedes Benz. I don't have Chanel perfume or makeup. I don't have a mansion, Kevin, Uncle Kev. You know, I am poor. Yes, I am able to eat. Yes, I am healthy, but I don't have everything that rich people have. And I think that is so bad. Adopt an attitude of praise to God. What if God was to take more of what you do have? Yes, you may be poor, you may have little, but if you can walk, what if God do something to where you get crippled? Appreciate what you do have. There is a woman that um, gives me a free bowl of soup every so often. And for some people, that may seem <laughs> very small. A free bowl of soup, Uncle Kev? Like, what is that? I tell you what, I am thankful to that woman for that. Yes, my car may be very rusty and I believe have some holes in it. But hey, I think it is better than walking, <laughs> right? Or looking for rides often or taking the bus. You know, I can leave and go pretty much as I please. I thank God for it. Yes, my car may not be all that pretty. You know, some people may say it is time to give up that car, Kevin, but I thank God for that car. I thank God that I can move. I think there are some people that are in so much pain. I am not, now I have some pain, but it is not to the point to where I am hurting, like to move it is hurting so bad. You know, I don't think I ever had knee surgery or back surgery or whatever. You know, I had some stuff done. But, hey, I thank God for my health. I think there are so many people that get cancer and stuff like that. There is a person to where that person's family member had a really bad case of cancer. I thank God that I did not get that. I thank God that I don't have diabetes, Ebola, 
I thank God that I don't have an autoimmune disease if I am saying that correctly. I thank God I don't have asthma. So while you are over there laying on your bed, sitting on your couch, depressed and crying, you know, why don't I have this? And why don't I have that? What do you have now? Appreciate what you have now. There is a woman. Um, I believe she died. Well, I guess there isn't a woman, but I was friends with a woman. And I believe she died. Was it in 2014? Now, her mom had a good amount of money. I went to her house, big house, big house, nice house. Her mom passed away as, as well. So her mom passed away and she died maybe like two years later after her mom but had money, good money, I believe. Yeah, I believe they had a nice amount of money. Like, I don't think she had to work. Can you believe she was, I believe, depressed about things? I think she would think about maybe that is not a good example so let me scratch that out let me say it in this way you may have more than most but you may be thinking about what you don't have what if god gave you everything let's say you know, you crying about, little God, you know, yes, I have 10 cars, but, you know, I want 11 cars. God, you know, I've been having these clothes for six months now, and I need new clothes, even though I have not worn some of those clothes. Let's say you are like this covetous, greedy, or whatever type of person, and God just gives you whatever you want. I think even when you get whatever you want, I think you will still be displeased. I am telling you. I am telling you. I believe if God gave you everything you wanted, I believe you would still be displeased. So I don't think it is so much about what you don't have. I think it is about your attitude, man. I am telling you. I think it is about you. You need to change. Your mindset needs to change. Adopt an attitude of praise to God. Thank him for things that may seem insignificant to you. I am happy about the small things. When I pray, there is a person that I pray with. And before, I think we would take up like, like we would take in half hour or an hour thanking God. And then another hour praying about other things, which we don't do that anymore. But I think for a while, maybe it was a half hour, an hour, or somewhere around that, we would take time for each person, me and the other person. So if it was an hour, I would take an hour to thank God as well as that other person. Adopt an attitude of thanking God. What if you, okay, let's say you would give to a person every time they ask for something. Oh, Kevin, 
Give me this. Oh, Kevin, give me that. Uncle Kev, I need this. Please give it to me. And then let's say you see that person sad and bitter and angry and you come to that person. What is wrong? You you have given me everything I wanted, but I still want some more stuff. You know, yes, you gave me what I wanted, but you should have given me, you should have given me more. Like an unappreciative, please listen. I think a type of attitude like that Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? I think you are the problem. Yes, I think you are the problem. Adopt an attitude of praise to God. I believe if you begin thanking God for what you have, I think your mentality will change. I believe mine has. Yes, I want some stuff, but I thank God for my life now. Yes, I need to change more, but I thank God for my life now. I appreciate stuff. I appreciate the small things, I believe. I believe I am saying that correctly. Let me stop here. All right.